Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to welcome to another Pokemon Duel video. Um, I did say in my last video that I was going to get right into another battle with you guys, but I decided not to because that battle took over 40 minutes long and I lost and it just wasn't good. So, and mainly, mainly because it was just too long. Um, but instead I'm going to, before I get into some more battles, I'm going to open all these boxes for you guys. And in one of my daily missions, for one of my daily missions for my room match, I actually spun 70, 70 gems. So in my top right corner, I have 200 gems. I can open a quadruple bo quadruple booster. But right now, I'm going to just open all these boxes immediately with you guys. See what I get. Eradicate. Ingot. Rare metal. Okay, so immediately, I'm going to go to the shop right here and just cash in that ingot. Now in my previous video, I went through some of my thinking in terms of what to evolve, and I ended up and uh, what to uh, uh, invest in in terms of my green cubes. I decided to go with a war turtle and not a croconaw or the monferno. The monferno, I was debating my, with myself whether to go with this on monferno and chain level it up because it can evolve into an infernic, which is very useful. However. It doesn't have any um, gold attacks. I mean, it doesn't have any purple attacks, and neither does Infernape. So I decided to go with my War Turtle, who at level 5 gains the ability to not miss. So it can't miss at level 5. So here we go another box. Bronzong, another ingot, another rare metal. Immediately to the shop and cash in that ingot. I've got a lot of coins, guys. So I've got over 200,000 now. This one's 15,000. <clears> okay, hopefully this won't take too long. I can level up some Pokemon. Now with this one, a normal booster, a bay leaf, an ingot, and now for the big ones, guys, the big ones, the rainbow box. Ooh, it's gold. Yo, Steelix. I've already had a Steelix. It's not very useful, but a rare Pokemon. Spinada, not very useful. Zubat, not very useful. Another Ingot, another rare metal. Sweet, guys. Now, uh, I'm going to go to the shop and cash in that booster, that quad booster. Here we go guys. Even if you get a rare Pokemon that you don't want, it's still good for fusing because they're each worth 2,132 XP. So here we go, quadruple booster. Here we go guys. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. It's a blue. I got 70 gems, I got another Raichu. gold guys it's gold come on EX oh it's a drud again oh damn but it's still good for fusing if you want to level up your Pokemon another blue a tentacle ooh a tentacle I've never had a tentacle if you've got a Manaphy you can, this this is this Pokemon is good because uh, it, it the three Pokemon limit does not apply to it it's a gold it's another gold, come on. Oh, another Leafeon. I've got three now. It's interesting. Now, if I get, if there is a grass type event, EX. Ooh, counter attack, I've never had a counter attack. Speak about, I've got many of those. Counter attack, this is good. This plate can be used when you have any B Pokemon on all your entry points. Select one of your Pokemon on the field. That Pokemon will have MP plus one for that turn. That's good, that's good guys. But this is probably my prize. This is probably my prize here. Look at its uh, ability, Form Herd. The three Pokemon limit does not apply to this Pokemon. So you can have five or even six tentacles. And the reason that's good is for, is for this uh, 40 damage tentacle barrage. This move's damage is boosted by the number of Pokemon on the field that know moves that cause poison or toxic. 
status effect, plus 10. If this Pokemon faints, the battle opponent will become poisoned. So it's got poison sting, so if you've got f like five, four or five on the field, then it immediately bumps it up to uh, 80. Like 60, like 70, 80, even 90 if you've got a lot of them. And if you include a Manaphy in your deck, that goes up, that buffs it by 20. This is a useful Pokemon to have. But right now, I am not going to waste any more time and go straight to the battles. I've changed my deck slightly. I've, I've gone with a Ho-Oh instead of my Veltal because of its one of its abilities called uh, Serene Light. And when it gets knocked out, when this Pokemon gets knocked out, both your Pokemon that are in the Pokemon Center immediately get pushed to the bench. Now, this is a very useful ability that I think is more beneficial. For, so if I get a, um, if one of my Articunos, uh, if, well, if both of my Articunos get knocked out, then it's, uh, it, it's very useful. So, so I can uh, immediately uh, move them from my PC onto the bench. <clears throat> and it gains, uh, and it's MP3 for this event as well. It's a flying type. So immediately, my first move is immediately Articuno. He has not got a legendary bird. Yep, he's immediately going to do that. So I immediately going to put. So now he is forced to put his. Um, immediately has to either put his Pokemon on the goal or surround his goal point like he's done that with his Greninja. Now he should move one of his Pokemon on up forward, yep. I'm going to respond with my Ho-Oh right here. But his Ho-Oh's got a chain level, 101. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do is Respond with one of my Weevils. Because if I roll a gold attack and he rolls Hurricane, I win. I beat him. Is he gonna have does he have hurdle jump? Yeah, he's gonna use his hurdle jump. So what I'm gonna do now is I either one, two, three. I am going to just block his um, block his ho -Oh from reaching my goal. Now he's going to use his shop it and yep. Now what I'm going to do now is build up my weevils. I'm going to move my ho -Oh here so his shop it can't just... What? Oh my god, guys. I didn't realize he had swap spot. Oh, guys, guys. Oh, that was embarrassing, guys. I should have used gold block. Anyway, we can open another booster box right here. That battle took, was relatively quick, so... So I can immediately just uh, cash in this box right here. Ooh, a Quilava. I've never had a Quilava. Zubat. Okay. Let's not waste any time, guys. You got a Zapdos. I should have taken more risks in that battle. I should have just gone for the gone for the kill and try to try and, and try and. Uh, I should have tried to take out his. Um, Oh, 
He's gonna attack me straight away. Wow. I'm gonna apply some pressure onto him right now. He's got to move his Zapdos or I surround him. Or he uses Hurdle Jump. If he uses Hurdle Jump, I, I won't risk it this time. But he didn't decide to Hurdle Jump. So I'm going to, right now, after his turn has ended, I'm going to surround his Zapdos. Now he has to put his Squirtle on his goal. No, he's going to attack me instead. This could be a bot though. Wow, he took out my... <laughs> he took out my freaking... Um... Alright, I'm just going to go for it guys. I'm just going to go for it. I need this win. It's gonna attack me, yep, again. Surely I can't get that unlucky and roll a miss again. There you go. That's the win. I don't know why he didn't move his Squirtle onto, uh, onto his goal. Squirtles are very good defenders. Almost half of its wheel is a... Uh, Withdraw. It's a blue attack withdraw, which is very useful. Okay. Didn't get off to a great start. But that's mainly because I didn't realize he had swap spot. And I didn't realize you could, because I don't have Swap Spot, or I just don't use it. I, don't, I can't remember whether I have Swap Spot or not, but I, I didn't know you could use swap, the Swap Spot plate and then immediately move your character. It's got a Ho-Oh, Greninja, and a Charizard, and a Veltal. No longer going with my Beltles. Because Ho-Oh has a great ability called Serene Light. When this Pokemon is knocked out, both of your Pokemon get to enter the PC. Okay, immediately move on to the goal right here. He has to attack me. Yep, he's going to attack me. Ice charge, I have one. Another quick victory. That's two wins. Gyarados! I can finally show you a Gyarados, guys. My first time battling a Gyarados.
Okay, before I show you his guiders, let me just look at his plates. It's very important you look at what plates they have. Double chance, X attack, Pokemon switch, scoop up, and hurdle jump. He's got one hurdle jump. And... Gyarados, there we go, speed booster. When this Pokemon evolves, it will gain MP1. And with the event, it's got MP2, so if you evolve it, it gets MP3. That's OP. That's quite OP. Okay, immediately... What's its uh, attack? It's 100, yeah. Hydro Pump is 100. Hyper Beam, sorry. It had a star. Wait a minute. What, what had a star? If this battle opponent... If the battle opponent is knocked out, the next turn will always be the other players. Okay. Beat me. Took on Articuno. Now I'll respond with my Articuno again. Now it doesn't have to attack, whereas I can, I'm going to build up my Weevils right here. Actually no, I'm going to um, put my Ho-Oh right in front of it, so it can't move. Now I will build up my Weevils. Hmm, it's gonna take me out. He knows how OP this, this Pokemon is in this event, guys. I'm taking him out right there. So now I can... Complete my trifecta of, we of Weebles right here. Gyarados. Gary, Gary Dose. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, guys. First ever Gyarados battle. Let's see how this ends up. Oh, I you got you took me out. But the turn is immediately mine because he used Hyper Beam. So I get to move my Weevil onto my goal right here. Hmm, what do I do now? I will move my Gyarados here. And... No, that was a bad move. He could just use Hurdle Jump and surround me. But if he does surround me... I'm going to just attack him anyway. I've lost one of my Weevils, so I'm going to attack. Oh my goodness, we both missed. <laughs> okay, he's not going to surround me, but I'm just going to go and go for the kill anyway. Because he could roll a one of his purple attacks, and I could roll one of my gold attacks. And I could take him out that way. Taunt. Oh, I've lost this. Yep, I've lost this again, guys. Again. But I get another go. I get another turn, guys. I get another turn. So what I'm going to do now is just take out his... Try and take out his Charizard right here. Mmm, took me out, but that's okay, because both my Weevils are now back on the floor. And I get to use my Articuno. So, what I'll do now is... Yeah, I've got to block this Charizard right here. Then I'll slowly move up my Weevils back onto the floor. 
He's gonna attack me. Taunt. He just fly away. Hmm. Unfortunate, mate. Unfortunate. Yep, he's gonna try and take me out. Oh, I only had two weevils on the floor. Mm. But it's okay. But he's he is now incapacitated. So what I'll do now is um, move up my other weevil. Yeah, I'm just gonna use scoop up, and he can move up straight away. That's OP. Hmm, storm. What does storm do? Oh no! Yes, took him out. Now I'm going to try and take out his Salamence. Now he, now he can't surround me. Uses Lapras. Yep, as expected. Now I'm just going to. What's Lapras's wheel like? Okay, I've got a pretty good chance here to take him out. But if he rolls a sing, and I immediately go to sleep, and it, it's my turn to be incapacitated. But I got Ice Charge. Mm, he's gonna take me out straight away, is he? No, he's not. I'm going to freeze his um, Charizard straight away. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that, because now he can still surround me anyway. So... Has he still got his hurdle jump? Has he still got his hurdle jump? Yeah, he's still got his hurdle jump, so... I can't just... Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh... Go here and try and take out a Charizard. Roost. Wow, 204. Charizard's a very powerful Pokemon. Block his way. Now he has to either attack or hurdle jump. Yeah, he can still.
I'm going to move my Articuno there. Now I'm going to take my chance. I'm going to take my chance to try and take out his uh, Lapras. I've still got gold block, so I can immediately throw... Ah, Roost again, guys. Guys. If I landed on an attack, I would have taken him out. But now he can move right next to my goal, so I have no choice but to use goal block. He's going to hurdle jump it. I'm going to hurdle jump back, right back at him. Okay, he's retreated. Okay, so now I am going to still try and take him out. Oh my god, a miss. I rolled a miss. And I've only got 28 seconds. This is another this is gonna be another defeat, guys. Another defeat. Once again, another defeat. And he's gonna try and take me out right here. I've got to just use my ho -Oh and uh, hopefully I take him out. Oh, I taunted. Okay, I'm just gonna continue and try and take out his Lapras. <laughs> his Lapras is kind of OP in this battle. A roost, another roost. I have not been very unlucky this match, guys. Maybe all that luck in my other games has really caught up to me. Respin. Ooh, I tied. Tied right there. So now I'm just going to uh, support my... Because I've only got 18 seconds left. There's no point in me playing defensive. <clears throat> Hopefully I get a 70 here. Nope. Tied again. Okay, let's see if my Articuno luck gets better. Ice charge. Mm, and he dodged it. Another failed attack. Okay, so he's going to try and retreat. And I am going to... Well, I have to attack, don't I? I just have to keep attacking, keep attacking. Just, I just need to take him out once. I've, had, I've hit this guy, what, five times? And I missed, guys. <laughs> guys. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. Ah. Not going well. My ho o is now coming to the fray. Oh, flat out missed. Wow. Okay, that's that's really is that that's the game, guys. <sighs> he needs me to roll a miss, and my miss isn't very large. And I really rolled a miss this time. Well, I might as well show you guys another Gyarados battle, even if I've lost this matchup. Half an hour video for a couple of battles. Well, at least I got another turn out of this. That's it, guys. I've got zero seconds, and he's got three minutes. He did a very good job of just of, very, of just um, using his moves quickly, just deciding. Well, I guess I'll just open this 
this uh, bronze box right here. See what we get. I got a Charizard from not not from not from a bronze box. I got a Charizard from the silver box, and then I'll end the video. Ooh, another Riolu. Another Spearow. Okay, guys, that'll be the video. I'll get to because it's already half an hour long. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed some of my battles and some of my booster openings. And uh, I'll I'll get back to you very soon with another Pokemon Duel video. Trying to get to, I've only need one more win to get to my next prize, which is an ingot. I need 50 wins to get to that to, for that trophy, guys. We're gonna get. I'll definitely show you me getting that trophy. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.